Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for September 18th, 2024. Well, who would have guessed that the day before I take off on a little rest, my um, charting software is uh, not working this morning. Um, apparently there's a server down in my region and I'm not able to get connected to uh, TC2000. So I'm going to muddle through this morning with um, my brokerage charts at, uh, from Thinkorswim. Um, this will be a little bit cumbersome and um, the video may be a little bit different than normal, but please um, uh, forgive me. There's, this is completely out of my control. So how about we take a look at what happened overnight in the market. First off, we had um, um, Asian markets mostly higher, but we still had a couple of markets closed. Um, Shanghai resumed trading, but Hong Kong, South Korea are still closed on the day, but they ended up closing mostly higher on the day. European markets, however, are down across the board this morning with the DAX down 0.12%, the FTSE down 0.65%, and the CAC down 0.45% as well. After assessing some UK inflation data that, well, apparently wasn't quite as good as they had hoped for. And then if we take a look at US futures, well, you can't stop the US futures from pumping every pre-market to the upside. We've got the Dow up 0.11%, S&P futures up 0.13%, and the NASDAQ futures up 0.19% as the market is heavily anticipating this rate decision from the FOMC. If we take a look at oil this morning, oil is just a little bit down if I, um, this is going to be really cumbersome here, I'm afraid. I'm not, I don't use this all the time, but um, as you can see here on energy, we had a good bump up yesterday, nice push to the upside there in um, oil future or um, our oil producers pushing up towards some resistance in the chart and now this morning we're seeing just a little bit of pressure to the downside here on oil we've got oil down uh, 0.92 percent or excuse me 1.29 percent or 92 cents at 70 27 a barrel and Brent is down 88 cents at 7208 a barrel. If we take a look at natural gas, we have natural gas uh, pushing up just slightly here this morning in the pre market after a little bit of a uh, really nice push yesterday to the upside and then pulling back on the day. We're still trying to test this resistance here in the chart, see whether or not we can break through that and maybe uh, push out of this little W formation in natural gas. So keep an eye on that. Now keeping in mind, uh, natural gas still isn't out of the woods. There's an awful lot of decision making that needs to be done here on natural gas, whether or not it's going to be able to push higher and break this bigger longer term downtrend but right now this bottoming pattern is starting to show some hopefulness then if we take a look at um, our um, precious metals here this morning we've got gold moving up this morning um, gld anticipating a rate cut as well pushing to the upside right now we've got gold futures up um, eleven dollars an ounce at 2603 after losing uh, 2600 yesterday so they are pushing to the upside here this morning keep an eye on gold um, silver is just slightly lower here this morning copper platinum and palladium continue to move to the upside when we look at palladium my goodness this thing has been on a tear to the upside just ripping running straight up breaking this downtrend breaking through resistance levels in the chart i'd keep a close eye on palladium i think it needs a rest or a pullback but right now it's showing up another $10.80 an ounce this morning. So watch that closely. Now, if we move over to cryptos 
our crypto markets, as you can see here this morning, a um, little bit lower. They had a great day yesterday, zoomed to the upside. If we take a look at BATO, still got some work to do breaking out of this downtrend, but a really big day yesterday. And this morning they are down, Bitcoin's down $297 a coin um, this morning. 0.49%. Ether is down uh, $43.26 a coin, 1.84% uh, to the downside, and they're mostly down. However, Litecoin happens to be up this morning. So kind of keep an eye on those cryptos. If we take a look at our bond yields this morning, bond yields have um, edged back higher just a little tiny bit. Two-year bond is at 3.62%. The 10 year is at 3.66% and the 30 year is at 3.98% as we wait for that Fed rate decision this afternoon. So what does all that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I very much appreciate it. Thanks for putting up with this change today. Um, it's completely out of my control. Hopefully I can get it fixed by the time the market opens. So um, taking a look at the charts here today, if we look at the diamonds, remember we want to look at the charts for what they are not for what we want them to be and we want to shake off that bias and really focus in on what the possibilities are and my goodness we have some possibilities today first off we have extended this market pretty dramatically here uh, to the upside in anticipation of a rate cut and a major hopefulness of a 50 basis point cut i can't tell you what's going to happen here on these rate cuts but I will say, if we just get a 25 basis point cut today, the market could be disappointed. So be prepared for some volatility around that 2 a.m. decision here. And then, of course, the Fed's press conference uh, 30 minutes later could create quite a little volatility in the market as well. One thing we know for sure here in the Diamonds is we broke out of that resistance here to the top side so we'll want to be keeping a pretty close eye on this yesterday we ended up with a little bit of a dark cloud cover in um, the diamonds chart but we're trying to pump through that here first thing this morning back to the upside with um, lots of confidence it seems we struggle to move um, much um, you know, as we as we've been waiting, but they do all of the movement overnight, which really tells you a lot about what the institutions are doing here and really trying to bait um, traders into buying, selling whatever they choose to do here, because we can't seem to get much price activity after that morning gap. So be really, really careful here. If the bulls find inspiration here today, every reason to believe they can break on through up here and make new record highs in the diamonds. If, however, they find some bearish um, interaction here in the market, breaking down below this support, I'm gonna be looking for some levels through here that could be those next areas of support in the chart if those bears were to push back. And then of course, if we look at our SPY, SPY also made a new record high yesterday, but after making that record high, really wasn't able to hold it. We pushed back down. You can see there's that record high. They got it done first thing in the morning on the gap up. They pushed just a little bit higher intraday uh, to that new high up here and then ended up losing it on the rest of the day, pushing back down. So if the bulls can find inspiration, let's look and see if we can break the wick of that candle yesterday and then push on through to blue sky above. But if those bears were to find inspiration today, I'm gonna to be looking for a little support right in here. If that were to fail, then I'm going to be probably looking down in here for that next level of price support. So I would expect um, some pretty big moves today 
here in the market based on how we react to that economic data uh, this morning and this afternoon. If we take a look at our NASDAQ, NASDAQ still holding above its 50-day moving average. You can't see that here, but still holding above its 50-day moving average and trying to sneak out of here, trying to sneak out of that downtrend. You can see we popped up through there um, yesterday in the gap up open and then ended up fading it right back down to this little price support here in the chart. So if the bulls find inspiration, well, I think there's every reason to think we're going to push this out possibly start working up to test some of these areas if the inspiration in the market is bullish. So watch that carefully for these levels up above. And if the bears were to find inspiration today, well, I'm going to look at testing these lows right here. And that would be our first test. And then if we uh, take note that there's not really great support um, down here in this chart until maybe we come back down into here, that would probably, well, that would fail our 50-day moving average if that were the case and would likely raise some fear. Beyond that point, it gets pretty ugly and we could move pretty sharply to the downside here. Maybe to retest this upside trend. If we take a look at our Russell IWM, um, had a good day yesterday, had the best of days yesterday um, to all of the indexes, but although it did um, uh, close with a nice bullish move, well, we left behind this shooting star pattern. That shooting star pattern can sometimes, if we can get follow through to the downside from the bears, that would, might raise a little bit of concern in here. But if the bulls can find that inspiration, I would look for a retest of that resistance up here to see if we can pop on through. And then I'd be looking right up here for some of these highs that we made um, here um, in the past month to see whether we can break on through up there. Now remember, if I were to pull this really far back and I can't do this in here, without doing some manipulations of the chart. But remember, above this area up here, we have that major resistance in the chart that goes all the way back to 2021 and 2022. So kind of keep an eye on that. If the bears were to find that inspiration, well, then breaking down here, we could fill this gap first in the chart, yesterday's gap. We could push on lower, coming down into here, and then, of course, uh, maybe Pulling back on that big white candle. Remember, we've got gaps left behind here in the market. So um, a real ugly move, um, we might even be able to fill that gap here in IWM. Let's take a look at our VIX. Our VIX has been doing an awful lot of chopping around here recently. And one of the concerns that I have is that we still have that possibility of a higher low. Notice we've been just kind of creeping up here while the market's been trying to zoom to the upside. Today could be the tell whether or not we're going to break this back down and push back down into this support area of the chart and maybe even lower if those bulls find inspiration in the market. If they don't find that inspiration in the market and the bears were to engage or rally here, again, that could make that higher low come into play. Now, of course, we have this little downtrend here that we would need to break out of, but I'm afraid that if that were to occur, if the bears were to get disappointed, the move could be substantial. So be prepared for that. Now, unfortunately, Thinkorswim does not cover the TC2000 um, uh, indicators of T2122 um, that I always follow, but I will give you a verbal description of the way they finished last night. Um, during the day, T2122 was nearly pegged at the top. We were at 99.38. We were as pushed up there as um, you can almost, you can't do much more than that. And then it pulled back just a little bit, but was still holding uh, above 90 and still in the 
bearish reversal zone. So one of the things we want to consider when our T2122 is so extended up there in that bearish reversal zone, although we have pulled back, we've given an opportunity where if we get a good bullish report that we could stretch up in T2122, but we have to remember the bearish reversal zone is all the way down here. And if the bears were to find inspiration, we have a very big opportunity for a downside move. Our T2108 did extend up nicely yesterday. We're still struggling with that uh, downtrend over the last few months. Um, we're right at the resistance of that downtrend, T2107. So the percentage of stocks above the 40 day and above the 200 day improved nicely yesterday but we also um, have these resistance levels above that we'll wanna be watching. So today's could be pretty critical on making the decisions here in the market. And then of course our T2101 did see a breadth increase yesterday, but not as much as or not so much as to really change the overall pattern in the chart where we may be running into a little bit of trouble due to the corporate buyback um, blackout that um, is growing every day. The number of stocks now every, uh, every day that slide into their blackout period is growing. So you want to keep that in mind. Also, it would be wise to be keeping in mind by the end of this month, we're going to have to have a decision from the federal government, uh, from Congress, or we will slip into a government shutdown um, on the budget. So they're likely going to kick the can down the road, but just keep in mind that there will be some worry coming up um, as um, that occurs. If we take a look at stocks on our um, um, earnings calendar here for today. We've got a, just a couple to be paying attention to here this morning. First off, this morning we're going to hear from General Mills. GIS will be reporting today, so keep an eye on that. We've had a, um, I'm not getting any pre market activity here on these charts, so I apologize. Um, I can't show you what's happening here first thing this morning, but watch that carefully here today. And after the bell today, we've got Steelcase um, um, as the only notables here for today. So kind of keep in mind, we do have a few more notables kicking up tomorrow in the list. So keep an eye on this one for this afternoon. If we um, were to take a look at some stock setting up for today, uh, but before, oh, you know what? We I forgot. I'm so disjointed here this morning, um, out of my out of my normal um, sync here. Let's take a look at that economic calendar here for today. Our economic calendar, we obviously have some issues that we want to be paying attention to here this morning. We've got housing starts and permits. By the way, we've already received mortgage applications here this morning. We'll look at that in just a second. But as you can see, they're looking for those housing starts and permits to start moving back up to 13 million and to uh, 1.4 million in improvement over the last reading. Watch that closely here today. Um, mortgage applications came in strong, um, really strong, as we see these lowering rates really igniting that um, home buying activity, picking back up and look at the refinance activity. Wow, um, really picking up. So keep an eye on uh, that. We've got petroleum status. We're going to get Atlanta uh, business fit, um, inflation expectations, but probably not a market mover. Um, petroleum status, which of course is always important for those oil um, and gas costs, so watch that carefully. Uh, more treasury uh, buybacks. We've got a four month bill auction, and then of course the big one of the day is the FOMC rate decision and the Fed chair press conference this afternoon. Now, as we move into Thursday, remember guys, I am gone Thursday and Friday. There will not be a morning prep on Thursday and Friday. I'm taking a little trip, I'm doing some uh, camping um, and hiking. Um, so I will not be here, but keep in mind, tomorrow we've got those jobless claims, Philly Fed manufacturing numbers and existing home sales, natural gas report, 
some bond auctions in there. So as you plan forward, think about that. And then there's some virtually nothing for Friday um, on the calendar. So not much to worry about there. We're going to start getting some Fed speak here as soon as the FOMC meeting. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, everyone, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube. Also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, do me that favor. Leave that brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow. And thank you so much for doing so. Also in that comment today, I've got a question for you. Um, my thoughts are are, I'm going to record my trip, uh, my hiking and trip, and um, just leave a leave a comment um, if you would like to see. I was just going to do it for friends and family, but if you would like to see a video that I uh, would put together of this trip, um, some hiking and all, uh, please let me know. Um, I might share that here with you as well. Let's take a look at some of these stocks setting up. Remember, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You need to do your own due diligence and be very, very careful in the market. Um, remember that anything is possible today. And um, anything that I say here, um, you need to make sure and follow your rules, your guidelines. Never blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas. Well, first thing I want to do is I want to talk a little bit about some of the commodities and things here in the market because as we raise rates we will typically see the dollar decline and we know here in the UUP we have uh, been seeing a downtrend yesterday we saw a little bit of catch of support and a bounce back up here but overall I think everyone knows as the as we cut rates the dollar is likely to fall and if the dollar falls boy we want to be keeping a pretty close eye on some of these bonds bonds and bond funds. Now TLT is pushed up above $100 up here, breaking through some resistance in this chart as you can see in here. Now I have a bias here because I am holding TLT and I've been talking about this for a long time, but I suspect if we start seeing those rate cuts and if it's an extraordinary rate cut, we could see TLT take off to the upside because that's going to be an interest for companies and, and possibly even the big banks to really start buying bonds up again. So watch that carefully. You might also take a look at BND. BND would be something interesting here to pay attention to. Um, we should also be taking note that when we look at um, some of these, whoops, some of these stocks, well, come on. Um, when we look at some of these stocks in the utility sector, they are holding very, very strong. So while the market is moving up and trying to show that we are incredibly bullish, it's interesting that we're still seeing quite a few of these stocks in um, more of a defensive manner, dividend paying stocks doing so well. Um, take a look at utilities, um, still showing lots of strength. Take a look at Southern Company. Southern Company setting up a very bullish pattern here in that chart and that possibility that we're about ready to follow on through with this upside trend and move on higher. So keep an eye on some of those utilities. They're showing lots of strength. Other places that we saw some pretty good holds yesterday. Coca-Cola started to bounce back up. It ended up fading right at the end of the day, but might be worth paying attention to. Take a look at stocks like 3M. 3M continuing to hold quite bullish in this chart, pushing on up, made a new high just a day ago. Keep an eye on that as that continues to, uh, to move. Things like um, Mondelez. Mondelez holding in a bullish pattern may be ready to attack this upside 
target up here. It kind of all depends on how these the data comes out today, whether or not these will be winners or losers. But I would continue to take a look at some of those defensive sector stocks they're holding in there pretty strong. Other places that I would be watching carefully for a dollar fall, I would be watching pretty carefully the precious metals. Uh, gold moving up um, strongly here, holding above $26 an ounce and right now up $11.60 an ounce this morning. So keep an eye on gold, keep an eye on silver. Silver moved up sharply here trying to break this downtrend here in the chart right now pulling back looking to find a little bit of support a little bit of consolidation in here but watch that carefully if this can hold in this area for that next opportunity to the upside keeping in mind there was a story out just two days ago morgan stanley suggesting gold could easily go to three thousand so watch that closely if we take a look at other things in the market take a look at alcoa anything in those metal sector um, any um, in that commodities area showing some bullishness here as the dollar weakens so keep an eye on that we're breaking this downtrend there's that w formation in the chart any consolidation or rest may set up an opportunity there. You could take a look at some of the grain commodities. Take a look at uh, soybeans here. Soybeans putting in an interesting pattern here on the bottom. Little inverted head and shoulders pattern coming into play as you can see. Watch that carefully. If those buyers can step up, there would be the upside trend and that opportunity that could extend on higher. And you can see the same thing when we look at um, stocks like um, wheat. Wheat showing that bullishness, pushing up out of this bottom, uh, trying to push on through to the upside, breaking resistance watch carefully there so look at some of those grain commodities as well as the dollar falls these could be very beneficial you might also take a look and i can't i'm not going to be able to bring up um, any of them right here but you might also want to take a look at any interest interest sensitive things like uh, maybe some real estate trusts that um, um, deal in mortgages that could be another place to find some benefit on uh, markets like this. So be very, very careful. Um, of course, we should be paying attention to some of these big tech giants that continue to struggle. Apple um, having quite the struggle here and could be sensitive to a report here as well. Um, we um, commonly see um, big techs that borrow heavily for what they do could see that um, uh, benefit from a lower rate. So watch that carefully here in some of these Apple trying to uh, um, still show that downtrend in here. But if it could break higher on news like that, I would look for potentially some big move possibilities coming here in uh, tech, depending on how the reaction to these uh, rate cuts are. And take a look at um, um, AMD. AMD um, made this, I'm, I'm kind of changing my opinion here on AMD. AMD pushing up just a little bit here. We've got this little higher low. Of course, we're still running in, in these lower highs or potential wedging pattern here in the chart. What I do like at the moment is that at least at the moment, we are holding right in here and we're starting to tighten up in a little consolidation. So watch that carefully. If this can continue to hold in here, then there may be that opportunity for a rebound there in um, AMD. And it would be um, interesting to pay attention to Google today. Apparently they won one of their cases here against um, European um, um, interests that are really trying to be the hawk of the markets um, on um, antitrust. So keep an eye on Google today. It could be a nice pop there as well.
So with that, everyone, that, um, and there's quite a few stocks for you to look at. I apologize that this was kind of disjointed um, for a presentation today. I hope everyone gets, gets something out of it. I want to wish you all a fantastic day. And because I'm gone Thursday and Friday, I hope you just have a fantastic end of your week. Um, let me know if you want to see anything on that trip. And I will see you all right back here, bright and early next Monday morning. Everyone take care. Be safe. I wish you all the very best. See you soon. Have a great week.